I want to show you a few ways when it comes to editing the contents of a cell, the data they're in. Like for example, up in cell A1 camping gear, US, you see how it bleeds over into cell B1? It's not in the cell, it's all in cell A1, but because there's nothing in cell B1, it's kind of like going to a movie theater where you stretch out because nobody else is sitting next to you. But the moment somebody comes in, like a number one guy, and you type in a number or whatever data you want, you hit enter, automatically you pull in your feet, it gets cut off, and the only way you can see the entire contents of the cell to either go ahead and stretch the width of the cell way over, or just go ahead and select it, look up here in the formula bar, and that's a little bit better because if I hover in between the two column headers until I can see arrows pointing in opposite directions and I click and drag, okay, temporarily that's nice, but I don't want to stretch open every single column because it needs that much space. So let me go ahead and hit undo. Of course, I could have clicked and dragged to collapse it and gone that way, but let me hit undo again to keep it about yay big. And then the moment somebody leaves, what do you do? You stretch out. And that's what's going on here. So you can see the entire contents. If you look in cell B1, you're like, oh, there's something there. Look up in the formula bar. There's nothing there. It's just a mirage. Now it's just stretching out. But when you go to cell A1, it's all packed in there. Again, because there's nothing else adjacent to it. And it needs that extra space to reveal the entire contents of the cell if it's not being used. Now to edit the contents of the cell, you can either go ahead and double click on it to get the cursor flashing within it, and then you can go ahead and use, you know, your arrows left, right, and then select maybe a word and update it. And then when you're done, you can either hit enter on the keyboard. When you hit enter, it returns down to the next row, as opposed to, let me double click again, and we don't like that, so let's go ahead and update it with .us. Instead of leaving the cell, you can come up here and click on the enter. It stays within that same cell, but it accepts the changes that we made. And also, if I double click and I decide to go to, instead of camping gear, how about sleeping gear? I'm like, oh, I made a mistake. Well, just go ahead and hit the escape key so it doesn't accept the changes, or you can come up here and click on cancel. It reverts back to what we had before. And besides double clicking to get inside the contents of the cell, if you want to come up here and click on the formula bar, the moment you do that, the cell goes into edit mode, and you can see it that it flushes over. In any case, you can come in here and double-click to select an entire word. There's a shortcut. If you want to go ahead and select an entire word, so you can quickly hit the delete key, and I'm like, whoops, then hit the escape key. It pulls you back out, and it doesn't accept the changes or the deletion. And speaking of deleting, well, with the cell highlighted, I could hit the delete key on the keyboard. It gets rid of it, right? Let me hit undo. Or you can select a range of cells. And go ahead and hit delete and I'm not going to do that. Let me hit undo. And instead of just deleting there may be times where you just want to clear like the format of a cell. So for example with let's see we got bold applied to camping gear US. You can come up here on the home tab come over here to the editing group and there's the eraser. You can go ahead and click on it and you can clear everything out like hitting the delete key or you can say clear the formats. So when you clear the formats, it'll clear the bold. It's the only format that's being applied to it. Oh, and it's no longer in bold. Oh, how very ordinary. Let's go ahead and hit undo. And you get other options here as well to clear the comments and clear hyperlinks. I'm going to go ahead and click off. And next, if you want to insert a simple, like a trademark, copyright, like let's do it for camping gear. Let's come up here and click after camping gear. And then to insert the symbol, now, remember, it's in edit mode, so I can do it in the formula bar, the cursor's flashing, or I can double-click down here in the cell. doesn't matter. Either way, it's in edit mode. You just have to choose whatever your flavor is, and then come up here, click on the Insert tab, go all the way over here to Symbols. Let me click on it to open it up, and there you go. Click on it. And down below, it has the recently used symbols, and if you don't find it there, then you can go ahead and choose a font type and select it and scroll through to find, well, any symbols. But if you're really looking for something that has more than what you see here, then click on the drop-down arrow for the font and go all the way down to, oh, now I have to scroll back up, W's for wingdings. That's kind of a funky name, wingding. Go ahead and select it, and there's all different types of symbols. You have the candle, scissors, and you can scroll through all that. And they have wingdings one, two, and three. So go ahead and choose one. And then find one, and once you find one, like if it's a trademark here, select it, go ahead and click on Insert, and hey, there it is right there, Insert. Fabulous. And you can insert as many symbols as you like. And we'll insert another one, 
and then go ahead and click close. And looky there, the number eight doesn't show up in the formula bar, but it does show up down here. So if I hit enter, and I'm like, oh, that's horrifying. I made a mistake. Well, go ahead and select it, double click on it, or just come up here with it selected and hit, uh, I'm flying blind, hit the backspace key. When you hit the backspace key, it deletes everything behind the cursor. When you hit the delete key, it deletes everything to the right of the cursor or in front of the cursor. So let me go ahead and, well, let's just get rid of the trademark altogether and hit enter and we're back to where we started. And one last thing I want to show you when it comes to editing your data, like if you have a range of cells and you got it selected here and you want to be able to have somebody read it to you, those numbers, let's say that these are empty, we clear them out. Well, if you want to keep it structured, so when you're entering the data, it goes from, in this case, one column to the next. So after you type in, you know, your numbers here, and you hit enter, enter, and then you want to go up to the next column, you don't have to use your mouse. Well, that's pretty tricksy, isn't it? Well, let's go ahead and select a range again. And when I select it, you notice that of all the cells, you have one that's clear, that's blank. That's known as the active cell. So if I hit the enter key, it still keeps the selection there, but another cell becomes active. It's going down row by row. So hit enter, enter, and when I'm done, it goes to the next column in the first row for that column, or the range that we have selected that first row there. And then if you made a mistake and you need to go backwards, well, instead of hitting enter, you can hold down the shift key and hit enter, and it starts going back. Oh, that's fun. Now, instead of going from row by row, you want to go column by column, then use the tab key. Tab's over. You want to go back to the previous column, hold down the shift key, then hit tab. There you go. And if you really want to dance around, hold down the control key and hit the period on the keyboard, and it will go all the way to the end of the range there, the right-hand side, and then hit control period again, goes to the bottom, control period again, goes all the way to the left, and then it goes all the way to the top. So you hit the four corners. So those are the shortcut keys. And when it comes to entering in data, I think for me it's a lot easier when I can go ahead and have somebody read me the numbers. When I get down to the bottom, they can go February. I don't have to lift my hands off the keyboard to be able to select the cell D7. I can just go ahead and keep on typing, saying, yeah, I got it, keep going, we're good. And then, of course, when you're done, you can move the mouse and click off somewhere, or better yet, just use one of the arrow keys on the keyboard, and it'll deselect everything. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please look in the description below this video.